So you bought yourself a firebox. Congratulations, you're now the proud owner of one of the very best small wood stoves in the world. But now, after having watched a number of videos, you're wishing you had spent a little bit more money and purchased an extra set of the fire sticks. Or maybe you've lost one and you need to replace it. Well, if you're looking for a solution, I may have that. Keep watching. So what's my solution? Well, ideally, you would go to the Firebox website and buy an extra set from Steve. They're not very expensive. But maybe you're hesitant to pay the shipping. I know here in Canada that it's worth more to ship them than it is to purchase them. Well, one solution there is to wait until you can afford to buy something else from Steve and then add a pair of the fire sticks in to that order. That'll certainly reduce the shipping cost. But if it's, you're not ready to purchase anything else yet from Steve, then I have a solution that may work for you in the meantime. So what I came up with was inspired by a viewer, David Marks, who wondered if fire sticks couldn't be fabricated from a roll of stainless steel flat wire. Well, I looked around and I didn't have any ready access to rolls of flat stainless steel wire, but I did have something in my collection that seemed to have worked out very well and I think is available to most people, and that is a stainless steel skewer. So the skewer I'm showing you, and I'm going to give you a close-up of this skewer in a second because it's very specific how it works out for the stove. But these are a set of four that I purchased at Dollarama, the dollar store in our area, and I think I paid $2 for four of these skewers. And what you'll notice about them is that they are a flat stainless steel rod. Now, one thing that was very cool, I didn't realize until I looked at them a little closer, is right on the tip, hopefully this is going to pick it up in the camera, there is a little raised projection, a little dimple that's been raised above the surface. Now what that's there for is to stop this slider from moving off of the end of the rod when you are moving vegetables or whatever else you have off the end of the skewer. What's cool about that little dimple is that it matches one on the end of the fire stick. And those dimples are there to help retain the fire sticks on the, on the collapsed version of the firebox when it's in storage. So, Will it work for a fire stick replacement? Well, as you can see when I bring them up close, the fire stick, the original fire stick, is a little wider than this flat skewer is. But when I took my micrometer, what I discovered is the skewer is just a little bit thicker in this direction, about a third of a millimeter, not very much, but just enough that it makes it a little difficult to slide in and out of the attachment points, the little channels on the side of the firebox, and I'll demonstrate that in a second. But with a little bit of judicious use of a, of a sharpening stone, I was able to lower that down to the point where it would slide through. Now let me just show you how it would normally work. Clasp my firebox down. Close it over, put the plate on. Now when the plate is on the firebox and one of the regular firebox sticks or fire sticks is used, it passes through that channel very readily down to the bottom channel. Sometimes you need to guide it a little bit and it snaps into pace. And that little dimple helps to hold it so the fire sticks don't fold out. And that is uh, how you help to keep the firebox closed and keep the fire sticks from being lost. Well, when I tried to do that with the skewer, it won't pass through the channel. But I was able to sand down the edge of one of these and, allow, and have it pass through just perfectly. All that was required after that was to measure the length against one of the originals, bend it over into the proper shape, and I was ready to go. Now one thing I will suggest is that when you go to mark and bend one of these skewers that you give yourself a little extra length because some of the length is lost in the two bends. So I did that and here's what I came up with. A homemade fire stick. Now you can see it's not pretty, it's not beautiful, and it's not exactly the same length. It is a little longer than the original so I could have been a little bit more careful in my measurements but it works. This will slide into the firebox channels and hold the firebox closed just like the original does. Okay, so that's it. Using a regular flat stainless steel skewer cut down to make a 
replacement for the fire sticks in my firebox stove. So I'm not going to say that these are as good as the original. In fact, I'm sure the originals are better. And like I said, the originals are not very expensive. It's just the shipping, at least for us in here in Canada, that discourages me from buying the extra ones. It may discourage other people as well. However, I do recommend that when you have the money and you have something else you want to buy from Steve, that you purchase yourself an extra set of these fire sticks or the original fire sticks before you do. Now, in the opening of this video, I said you, that the firebox stove is one of the very best small wood stoves in the world. Is there something better? I don't know. This is the original. How about the firebox in titanium? But that's a subject for another video. All right, thanks. Get out and explore. Take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.